Hey gents, I'm here in Teddy Baldassar's studio and we are going to do a $100 challenge today. But first, if you don't know Teddy, Teddy a little bit about your watch channel. Hey, what's going on everybody? So Teddy Baldassar here. I have a watch, pretty much a watch channel on YouTube. Talk about wrist watches, what watches to buy, what watches not to buy, and really thinking about the element of style and where watches fit within it. So if you haven't checked out my channel, definitely would go recommend checking it out. Start with the watches of Benevolent Dictators. That was, uh, that's your big hit recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that video really caught on. So um, yeah, now I have over 100 videos on my channel. I've been doing this pretty, a lot in the last year or so. So uh, you have a good library of content. So definitely go check it out. Bridge watch check now. Uh, I am wearing a Rolex Datejust 1601. I got my Gold Amiga, one of my favorite uh, favorite pieces in the whole collection. So today we are going to go and go shopping at Beachwood Mall and here in Cleveland, and we are going to change up the $100 challenge a little bit. We're actually gonna go to separate stores and we're gonna make it random. So we have six stores picked out. It's gonna be Zara, H&M, J Crew, Nordstrom Rack, Banana Republic, TJ Maxx, and then we're gonna roll a die to see which store we're gonna go to. We're gonna have 25 minutes to go pick our selections, and then we're gonna come back here and we're going to do our try-ons, and you guys can pick out who did the outfit better, and uh, $100, that's our cap. So we're gonna stay within budget, within time, and uh, see who can pull it off the best. Go down, John. Maybe, I, neither. It's, it's been a while since I've shopped in the store, but mm -hmm. we're ready to go. All right, we're outside of Beachwood Mall. We're gonna, about to choose the retailer we're going to go shop at, and we have our die here, so it's gonna be random, and then the lower budget choices are $100, and the higher budget are gonna be 150. So I'm gonna roll my die first, and we've got this going here. Number one, I'm gonna be at H&M. Okay, so now you hit yours. All right, here we go. You see where we're going for you. Just hit it. Hit this die here. Hit down the die the down there. Yep. There we go. Number one. Oh, uh, we got a re-roll, re-roll. Re-roll. Two, Two is Zara. All right. Okay, so H&M and Zara, which is probably not too far, right? No, they're in the same location. And similar styles. Very similar like, styles, so this will be interesting. Yeah. And, and I know we talked about it, we haven't went shopping in an actual mall in how long? I mean, I haven't I went shopping the last year in a mall. Two, since I started the channel, it's like almost three years. I'm exclusively online, so this is gonna be a new, interesting experience for us. And I haven't shopped at Zara as well for a good amount of time, too. Actually, Zara is the first place, I about eight years ago, I was in Chicago, and I bought tons of stuff from Zara, and that was my first like stylish shopping trip where my grandma didn't buy my clothes so Zara sentimental in my heart all right all right John well it's on so all best right. of luck to you man you're gonna lose so set a timer of 25 minutes and you'll be back at this spot oh you have timer gone in 25 minutes okay have to be back here in 25 minutes yeah let's do it checked out and everything okay okay one outfit hundred dollars all right one two three okay I haven't been in a Zara in like four years Start back at the sales section. Oh, no wonder this is on sale. This is, these are hideous. San Angeles. Huh? really isn't fair. I have to walk a little bit farther than John does, so whenever I'll get my steps in, it's still going down. So like I mentioned, I have not shopped in the mall in probably over a year. I shop pretty much exclusively online, and the thing about Zara's clothes, they're very tight, and I have a very dis disproportionate body, so this is going to be pretty interesting. I don't have much time to work with here, so I'm going to have to move quick. I'm worried the chinos I picked aren't gonna fit, but I can't find anything that might be longer. Actually, I think I want a jacket, but then I would go over budget, and I'm feeling very, feeling very crunched by this time constraint. So I was thinking for a complete look to also go with the Oxford button down, but if I want the crew, the pants, and the jacket, I can't. I also found this hot piece right here. Boom. It takes a long time to change in the changing rooms. 
Okay, so I love the color of this sweater, but I can't do the sweater, the pants, and the jacket. This shirt's $5, but it even counts. So I have to go find something else, but I want this look. And time is running out, so I better move. All right, so I got 15 minutes in here. I gotta switch out some clothes quick. All right, so I think I got my winner right here. Come on. It's one time 13. Did you want the receipt with you or in the bag? In the bag, please. Okay. I like those pants a lot. And that jacket. I like all the stuff actually that you picked. Boom. So good job. Nailed it. <laughs> and you're also have a great time. 25 seconds. 50 seconds, we made it. That was way more stressful than I thought. I know. So, how do you think you did? I'm over on budget. You're over on budget? I'm over with on budget. tax or without tax? With. So I'm like, I'm at 120. Okay, I was at 110 with tax. When, with tax, I was 120. With tax, I was 110. Okay, that seems. Okay. That seems doable. Cool. Zara's a little more expensive. Oh, is, is that, it? Is that recording? Yeah. Cool. Zara is definitely a little more expensive, so I think. I, I always think of them in the same category. I'm like, oh, they're both like. Oh, no way. H&M, S, 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 they, they, they will agree. Okay. Got at the uh, kids department. They weren't accepting checkouts at the men's department, so I'm like, I'm like waiting there for like a minute or uh. two, and then I'm like, oh my goodness, what is going on? All right, so I got two minutes and 30 seconds. They made me go to the kids section to check out because they were not accepting any uh, checkouts at the men's section. So I'm racing to the finish here. I'm a little over on budget, don't tell John, um, but I feel pretty confident about what I have here. I just took a ton of things in the dressing room. I tried them on. Totally not my style. I didn't even think of a theme until halfway through. I was like, I'll just do fall style. Oh, okay. Mine's like fall streetwear. <laughs> Did we park on this side? Uh, I think maybe, we're maybe we park. There we are. Yeah. Well, I had a dilemma as I was shopping because I wanted something, but I couldn't get the whole combination. So I had to like go around and look for alternatives. And then I found some $2 boxers, so I got those too. Oh. Bonus points. Oh, so th those aren't included in the, uh, the demonstration later, I hope. Uh, well, <laughs> only if you choose. Uh, Which what, do you, what do you guys think? I don't know. Uh, I'm over here. I think the people will ask for it. Okay. <laughs> Knowing you guys. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go do the try-ons. Let's do it. I wanna see what you got. I'm not peeking though. Let's Sorry. Do it. So see you. All right, guys, so heading back now, and I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. I shot all of my videos in vertical, like an idiot, but whatever. I'm gonna be victorious here. All right guys, we are back from the store and we're gonna walk through our picks. So we were separated, we didn't see what each other bought and then we just did like the, the grand reveal out here and I'll start with mine. So as I was shopping, you'll see the commentary where I talked about at my picks, but I started with like fall style and I used my shoes as a base. Whatever I was going to be wearing was gonna go on those shoes. So the chinos are, they're fit in my waist, but they're too short, which is an H&M problem that I have with my very long legs. But I went with the, the rolled up style to go with like kind of modern look. I wanted this textured sweater here, which I really like and the crew neck and then the jacket fall in the Midwest, it's chilly. Gotta stay warm in the jacket. And this has uh, like a water repellency to it. So pseudo rain jacket and then the big pick is my t-shirt underneath which I'll show you in the, uh, the try-on video. That was five bucks, and then the $2 underwear uh, is in here too, but yeah, I'm not gonna show that, that one. <laughs> but Teddy, where'd you go? So I got to go to Zara. So I haven't been to Zara in probably, I mean, it's, it's been probably a couple years. And whenever I go in there, some of the things that I see in there are eh, things I like, and other things are just like, oh my gosh, these are some of the most hideous pieces of clothing I've ever seen. So it's more of a street style look I was kind of forced to be put into, because there's no really traditional classic kind of style that you can really go for in that store. So what I decided to look that for was just one staple piece and then some essentials. So I saw the black jeans, black skinny jeans, and I saw a black t-shirt. I'm like, all right, that'll be the foundation. Now I gotta think of some kind of accent piece or a layering piece. And I wanted to kind of go for a fall-like look. So I found this kind of distressed looking flannel and it was you know, around half of my budget, but I thought it was a good kind of accent piece. It was not overstated. It's a little bit flared out at the bottom, which I'm not crazy about. It's total hype. 
uh, Kanye type, type style here, but wore some Chelsea boots along with that as well, because I already had those. So that was my one article of clothing I decided to keep here. So black t-shirt, black jeans, and this flannel here um, definitely has some street style elements to it. Uh, was kind of my three articles of clothing that I went for. But critically, where'd you come in at your final price? Final price was $123. However, that's with tax. So it was around 111, I think, or 100. 13, I believe. So some, somewhere around there was around 950, I think, uh, for tax. So okay. Mine was, I'm over. I'm I was one in 150, but then I went and bought a pair of socks for my son because they were like <laughs> queens. <laughs> so I, I ended up going over, but the, the outfit, and actually I had to switch my sweater because the sweater I wanted was 30, mm. and I went back and picked the 15 so I could like stay under the budget. So I was like, I was very conscious. It was the most stressful shopping situation yeah. I've had ever. I don't know if it's because of the store, the time crunch definitely helped, but mm -hmm. also because I know that at H&M, I don't find things that I like and I don't find my size. So it was like all of the worst parts of shopping in one trip. It, it was tough, man. It was tough because it's going to a place that I don't really normally shop at anymore, but try to make the most of it. Try what's what's the main place you go? Uh, I usually go to, I'm, I'm, if I'm going to the mall, J. Yeah. Crew. Absolutely well, J. Crew. But you shop online. Yeah. Online, online, ta Taylor Stitch, Huckberry, mm. those are usually the, like online retail locations. American we'll made. At, but, uh, yeah, is. exactly. Uh, Bonobos though, I love Bonobos as well. Um, you know, and then when I'm feeling like uh, spoiling myself, I'll go on Mr. Porter and uh, fil filter by cheapest option and then uh, go from there. <laughs> and then you go to the bottom. Yeah, exactly. I'll go right <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> Well, that's great. I feel I feel like it was a great experience. It's fun, man. Grounded me in what the mall experience is like. And then also, because I'm always shopping Taylor Stitch or Bonobos, I'm looking at pants that are the cost of this whole outfit. Mm -hmm. So that is that is helpful yeah. to see what is really out there, because I don't really get out, I don't yeah, get out much. Same same I'm same always man. in the studio. Cool. Well, what do you guys think? Who, who do you think won? I'd like to see the comments. I'd like to see the comments. Do you like street? Or do you like, like trendy, almost like trendy hip? Kind of where I went with. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to call this thing. I just <laughs> did what I could. It's like rock. It's like rock show. It's like you're gonna go to a rock show. Yeah. yeah. Like black on black with the street. Yeah. And then mine's like college kid. Yeah. Almost. Or, or, like, a, or like a horrible SoundCloud rapper or something like that. But <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay. Mine's like stylish college kid. It's yeah. like, I like it, man. Preppy look. Cool. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for looking at my bare feet and doing this uh, hundred dollar challenge with me and hosting me out in Cleveland. Of course, man. Check out Teddy's channel. Great watch content and uh, inspires me to look at Nemos every time he posts uh, <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, guys, definitely go check out the content, and thanks so much for having me on the channel, John. Absolutely. Till next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Mm -hmm.